And the Court of Appeal, Abuja, has upheld the judgment of the Kogi State National Assembly Tribunal, which on the 6th September removed the candidate of the All Progressives Congress, Abubakar Sadiq Oheri, as winner of the Kogi State Central Senatorial uh, Election. A three-member panel of the Appellate Court affirmed the judgment of the tribunal after it dismissed Mr. Sadiq Oheri's appeal for lacking in merit. Judiciary Correspondent Celestine Area reports. The judgment of the Court of Appeal will see the exit of Mr. Sadiq Ohiri, representing Kogin Central in the 10th Senate, and the emergence of Natasha Oti as a senator representing the senatorial district. Justice Hamna Baka, who read the lead judgment, agreed with the tribunal that Mr. Ohiri's result were inflicted in nine polling units in Ajakuta, Adavi, or Kehi local government, while that of Mrs. Akboti was intentionally reduced in the area. The court, in rejecting the APC's candidate's appeal, held that INEC, which has the duty of conducting and collating results, failed to provide reasons why the results of the election in the affected local government's area were rejected and excluded from the overall votes. After resolving all issues raised by Mr. Sadiq Ohiri in favor of Mrs. Akboti, the court awarded a cost of 500,000 naira against him. Cumulatively, she has been declared as senator-elect with over 3,000 votes, as against what INEC declared, 325 votes. 324 votes. This is victory for democracy. This is victory for the people of Kogi State. This is victory for the people of Kogi Central. This is righting the wrongs. The appellate court in another judgment delivered by Justice Zuberu set aside the judgment of the Federal High Court Abuja that nullified the candidacy of Timi Poe Silva as a Bayasa State APC governorship candidate in the upcoming governorship election. Mr. Colomo, a member of the APC, had asked the trial court to order the Independent National Electoral Commission to delete Mr. Silva's name from the list of candidates contesting the election. The suit should not have been instituted because the parties who, are, who instituted them, they are referred to as medicine interlopers who claim they are voters. They are outside the law, which gives only the window to aspirants. The Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, is now mandated to include Mr. Siva's name in the list of candidates participating in the 11th November governorship election in Bayeso State. Celestina Iria, TVC News, Abuja. And joining us on the news at 10 is Johnson Usman. He's a legal practitioner to discuss the outcome of the Court of Appeal uh, on Natasha Akuti. Thanks for joining us. Thank you very much for having me. Now, the Court of Appeal agreed um, that votes were deducted from the votes of your client, that's Natasha Akboti. Um, the court today added the deducted votes and then declared her the winner. Tell us what this means for her. First and foremost, I want to thank you for having me this night. The judgment of the Court of Appeal today only affirmed the votes of the people of Kogi Central Senatorial District, who trunched out of the 25th and 26th February 2023 to cast their vote for Natasha Hadiza Akoti as a senator of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. After the election was conducted at the various polling units, results declared at the polling units, results collated at the polling units. However, Result in nine polling units of Ganaja Township Ward were omitted by IDEC returning officer who deliberately refused, failed, and neglected to collect the result of these nine polling units on the ground that the results were presented by the SPO, supervising returning officer, instead of the returning, instead of the presiding officers. Again, in other nine polling units of the same Kanaja Township ward of Ajokuta local government, when the results were collated at the polling unit and taken to the ward for collation at the ward's collation center, nine polling units results of my client, Natasha Hadiza Akoti, were suppressed, while the result of uh, APC and his candidate, Senator O'Hare, were increased 
These are the two reasons that took us to the tribunal to say, look, elections conducted at the polling units were successful. Eighteen polling units were successfully results were taken to the World Collision Center, but in nine polling units, the returning officer refused to collect the result. We called the polling agents of PDP who tendered the duplicate copy of each of the nine polling units, 18 polling units that were issued. We called, tendered the certified true copy of these 19 polling unit results. We also tendered the 19 polling unit results from the bar. Again, we subpoenaed INEC, who sent his official and tendered the result of these 18 polling units. The respondent did not dispute these results. All the parties agreed that these are the result of the 18 polling units in contention, and the tribunal rightly admitted the result. At the end of the day, having called all the witnesses and presented the evidence, the tribunal merely collated the result of the nine polling units that INEC refused to collate because the tribunal has the power to collate. The tribunal now, again, on the nine polling units where there were wrong entries, results of uh, Natasha suppressed, and the result of APC and his candidate increased. The tribunal merely collated the results and declared that, indeed, Natasha Akochi Udoha and his half a, a political party, PDP, won the election by majority of lawful votes and so declared her. Mm. Dissatisfied with the, the, the return made by the tribunal, APC and O'Hare went to Court of Appeal. And today, the Court of Appeal had laid to rest the All issue right. of Kogi Central's electoral district election by affirming that what the learned trial judges of the tribunal did was not only right, but was, just, um, was the justice of the case. And affirmed the judgment of the tribunal and declared Natasha... As a duly I, I guess, um, Mr. Usman, the, the next move now is um, her, your constitu or her constituency and her supporters are waiting for her to be sworn in as senator representing Kogi Central. Thank you so much for talking to us and explaining all of that process for us. Counsel to Natasha Akboti, Johnson Usman. You are most welcome.